Hey, what's up, everybody on Who Could Giveaway? Um, we are going to do something very special here in a moment for you, but we are going to make uh, this video first. I am still in Pittsburgh on my little uh, sojourn trip up here to visit my buddy Pat, and uh, Pat has been gracious enough to volunteer to show his funnel uh, packing method, which we are going to use for the final showdown. It is going to be Vortex versus Funnel. We are going to make a decision on this today. It will be the end-all be-all. But in the meantime, he wants to uh, show you guys how to pack. Pat, hey, take everybody. it away, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I'd, st I'd start out here with some Tangier's orange soda. You can see the cut is average Tangier's, about a medium grade cut. Nice, perfect level with the molasses. So let's get started here. I'm using a medium Tangier's funnel. It works. This baby treats me real well here. And I'm just going to grab a handful here. Here, can you adjust the camera down a little bit? Yeah, no Thank problem. Thank you. And I start out by just loading it loosely to the brim. Just grab your handfuls. I throw in stems and all on this. In a lot of cases with Tangiers, I've noticed, you know, that stems really aren't a problem because if you're concerned about making Tangiers harsh, well, you're stupid. That's kind of the nature of Tangiers. <laughs> okay, step two. We're going to start packing it down. See, there's a couple different methods to packing. This is what I work with, and it treats me real well for long sessions. Uh, I've been able to get a good five, six-hour session out of it. Pushing down real good on that stuff, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a real tight pack, and this gives me a long-lasting session. <laughs> now, a lot of people say uh, one of the problems, Pat, with doing uh, with doing a real tight pack sometimes on a funnel is that it uh, intensifies the flavor too much. Do you, think, do you think that makes it a little more harsh than usual? or That's all with cool management, uh, really. You just have to get it right. See, I've been at first I had a lot of trouble with uh, Tangiers. It just wasn't working right for me. But after a while and having someone get me into the groove of things, actually Bert right here behind us, uh, I got the hang of it. Oh, I was saying how you got me uh, trained on Tangiers. Don't worry about that stuff, man. Pick it up and put it back in the bag. I'm good to go. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Tightly packed. I don't know how well you can see the level. See, it's just below the rim of the center right here. So we're going to bring that up now. What I go with is my judgment... I go with a tight pack until it's roughly to the edge there, to that brim. To the edge of uh, the, 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 the center, middle, right? Yes, okay. the center okay. ring there is what we're aiming for. Yeah, it seems like I a lot of people prefer to do it up to the edge of the bowl. See, some people love that personally. I like to do it lower because of the lasting of the session. So you, whenever you do it up to the edge, then you have to take into fact that with it being a tight pack, once the heat starts hitting it, it's going to start to lift the shisha and raise it, kind of unpack it, and you're going to have it directly on the foil, and then you're going to have burning, and you're going to have a partially bad session, if not a ruined bowl. But also at the same time, if you do a lighter pack into the top, you're going to have no problem, at least. This is my personal experience with it. Everyone has different uh, s stories to say with Tangiers. The long and the short of it is, Make sure to find your own method and find out what works for you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful stem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, a lot, a lot of people do not know that in a lot of cases, one of the, one of the more, I guess, commonly accepted ways is to do the super pack on there. The tighter you have it in there, the better your flavor is going to come out. It seems with, you know, unwashed tobaccos like the Tangier stuff. I just got a little bit more to go, and then I can show you guys what my pack funnel looks like. Now, Pat, a lot of people might be saying, you know, well, you know, medium funnel, do I do I really want to use up that much shisha? Um, is, is there, you know, maybe say doing the same tightness to the pack, but maybe using a little bit less for a shorter session? Have you I've, ever done that? I've done it, yeah. Uh, the flavor gets really intense, and the session gets a lot shorter. Uh, you're, you're not going to have as efficient of a session for time. But hey... It, think of it of having an Egyptian head on there, really, yeah. for the time span. That's a, that, that's a good point. He's just pushing now down I'm here. Now I'm just perfecting it, the spacing on it. Now, is it important to have the, the tobacco as level as possible at the top, you think? I try to, uh, for the sake of whenever I'll call, call it fluffatizes itself. <laughs> <laughs> Great choice of words there, douche. <laughs> <laughs> Voila. 
Let me get a few angles here. There you go. See how it's right up to the edge of that, but not up to the top there. There's probably about a quarter inch gap, for maybe less, an eighth of an inch from the top of the side, but it's right up to the top of the center hole there. All right, all right. Um, now Tightly this, packed. This is uh, Pat's preferred method of doing tangiers, and I'm sure there's going to be at least five or six people who are going to come to this and say, you know, oh, well, there's something different, or, you know, oh, you shouldn't be doing it that way. But keep in mind, everybody has different ways of making it work. And plus, tangiers and how effective it is and how it's going to smoke for you varies greatly depending on region. Because remember, the process of acclimation is adjusting to the relative humidity of where you are at. Indeed. Okay, so if you are in a much more humid environment, it may take less time. If you're in a drier environment, it may take up to 12 or 16 hours. I mean, I've heard reports of people do acclimating for two days at a time. So I've heard of a month and still not get it right. See, I mean, it, it, it's very much specific to geography. So keep that in mind whenever you're factoring in your bull pack and your acclimation time. Anyway, that's how you guys pack up a funnel bowl. We'll be back here in a little bit. We're going to shoot the uh, the final showdown. We're going to do Vortex versus Funnel, the end-all, be-all argument. But in the meantime, that's how you pack a funnel. I'm Silencer. That's my boy Pat. That's the rivet head right there. We'll catch you guys on the flip side.